say thank you. Father, we want to say thank you. Accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight we are all gathered as your children. We are gathered here as the seed of the Most High. Jehovah, let us blossom. Amen. Holy Spirit, anywhere you find a louder, amen, let that seed blossom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor for me. Say good evening. God bless you. You are welcome. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. Um, I, I want to speak to us for 10 minutes and then we'll pray for 30 minutes for the children before we go and prepare for the three nights of encounter. Um, my seed shall blossom. Psalms 112 verse 1. We read from King James. Psalm 112 verse 1. Media, you need to help me because our time is limited and the prayer points are so many. Psalm 112 from verse 1. Can we please read it together? I want to go. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delight greatly in his commandments. Verse 2. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Because of time, let, let, let's stop it there. Okay, let's read verse 3. Wealth, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord. If you want to tag this at uh, the ego believer, I don't know which part it is, whether part 5 or part 6 or what it is. I told you at the beginning that egos are not born. Eagles are born, eagles are made. And I told you about the process of the making of an ego. Eagles go through a process to become eagles. For all the parents in the house this evening, your children, they are like eaglets. You give back to them as eaglets. But we have a responsibility to ensure they don't die as eaglets, but they become eagles. The Bible didn't compare a believer to an eaglet. It compared a believer to an ego. Everybody is proud to be associated with an ego. Even God is associated the scripture talks so much about the ego, not the eaglet. So in life, there are two things that are very important, um, which I want to talk about, nature and nurture. Nature is the eaglet. Nurture is what turns an eaglet to become an ego. So looking at a seed, for a seed to blossom, to blossom means to, to bring forth fruit, to germinate. That seed, number one, must be what? Planted. Not just planted. That seed must be what? Cultivated. That seed must be watered. The summary of all I've said is that a seed that will blossom must be nurtured. It must be nurtured. It must be nurtured. How do you nurture the seed? I like um, NLT. NLT version of um, Psalm 112 verse 2. Can we have the NLT? Psalm 112 verse 2. It has to be nurtured. The seed has to be nurtured. He says, their children will be successful everywhere. I thought he's talking to somebody's child about. Oh. Not in some places, everywhere. That is, God expects the seed to prosper, the seed to, to blossom. He said, their children will be successful everywhere. An entire generation of godly people 
will be blessed. Everywhere, they're in Jamaica successful. They get to Britain successful in Canada. Whether they're in Nigeria, in Lagos, or Abuja, everywhere successful. At home, successful. In school, successful. Their children will be successful. How many places? Everywhere. For this to happen, your children must be nurtured. And in nurturing our children, there are two responsibilities you have. One is to train them, and the other is to commit them to God. Two responsibilities. One is to train them, the other is to commit them to God. One is to train them, the other is to commit them to God. Why do we need to still commit them to God? After training them. The Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. So after you have done your part, we still need God. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 6, Paul so Apollo water. Who gives the increase? God. So that's why we are, we are dedicating today, tomorrow is Children's Day. We are dedicating today to pray for our children. But before we pray, I just want to remind you on the need to train your children. Proverbs 22 verse 7. Proverbs 22 verse 7. The Bible says, train up a child. Proverbs 22 verse 7. Train up a child in the way that he should go. When he grows up, he will not what? Train up your child. Please train your children how to greet elders. Train them. Train them to respect people older than them. Train up your children. Those of us that are already parents, those that are potential parents, one day all of you will be parents. So, train up your children. You have that responsibility. Train up your children. And in verse 15, of the same Proverbs 22, verse 15, this is what some of us don't like to do, but you have to do it. It's scriptural. Media now, Proverbs 22, 15. He said, foolishness is bound. Where? In the heart of a child. But what is the cure? The rod of correction. We do what? So, Bible says a child is likely to misbehave. But there's a reset button. What's the reset button? Rod of correction. So when their system is overbooting, you need to press reset with the rod of correction. The next chapter, 23 verse 13. 23 verse 13 and 14. 23, Proverbs 23, 13 and 14. He said, please, don't be told correction from the child. Many mothers have murdered their children. You have overpampered them, they have become pampas. <laughs> Don't be told. Please put the scripture on the screen, media. Don't be told correction from the child. For if you beat him with the rod, what will happen? <laughs> Shall not die. We didn't die. I didn't take too much of uh, too much of cane because um, I learned from my my brother. I learned from my brother because he has the tendency to go out, do stuff, misbehave, and then gets back. And I remember my eldest brother is like a father to us. Tells him to remove his clothes, and he lies down. Those days. So once a year, 
He just screams. I've died though. <laughs> but dead people don't talk because by the time the next one lasts, two The truth is that don't beat your child out of wickedness, but the rod of correction is extremely important. Verse 14. Verse 14. He said, when you beat a child with a rod, what happens? You deliver his soul from hell. Overpampering is a challenge. It's a challenge. Train up. Thank God for Africa. There's still opportunity for children to be trained here. Even in the Western world, some people are still doing it. I remember years ago, I was in London, and um, I went to see a woman. So when the woman saw me, she knelt down to greet me, and her daughter just said, Hi, Pastor. She slapped her immediately. Omo Nigeria near Kule. Say you are a Nigerian child. Kneel down and greet in the public. To what? Kneel down. Say ah, no, no, no. I say no, 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 no. It was correct. Proverbs twenty nine fifteen. Proverbs twenty nine fifteen. Proverbs twenty nine fifteen. What happens when you leave your child? Proverbs twenty nine fifteen. The rod and reproof do what? Give wisdom. But a child left to himself will do what? We bring his mother to shame. I pray for all the mothers in the house. You will not be put to shame. Left to himself. Bring his mother to shame. And let me talk to the children. Especially teenagers, all the children. You also have a responsibility. Obey your parents. Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. From verse 1. Ephesians 6 verse 1. Ephesians 6. Obey your parents. In the Lord. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Verse 2. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment we promise. What is the promise? Verse 3. That it may. Let's read it together. When you honor your parents, it is to may. Be well with you. And live long. Today, young boys, young girls are beating up their parents. I don't know where they got this culture from. We grown up. How can you imagine yourself lifting your hand to bring your, beat your parents? That is a curse. I was reading on the internet one young boy in the east that beat up his parents. The, the young men in the environment, oh, my goodness. They beat him to stupor, as in. So of all people that you want to beat, if you have big chest, go to the garage. You see a lot of guys there. That can exchange blows it. Your parents. Please. No matter how God has lifted you, don't abuse your parents. Please. What's the danger of doing that? Proverbs 20 verse 20. Speaking to all of us that are children, If your parents are still alive, you are still a child. You can be 50, you are still a child. You are 60, you are still a child. Can we read this one together? Want to go? Whosoever cursed his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. That means that child will be walking in total darkness. You know what that means? Life is confused. No progress, no meaning. Everything messed up.
So children, please, let us honor our parents. Take care of your parents. Honor your parents. African setting, many of us are working in Lagos, adults, your, children, your parents are in the village, you don't send money to them, you don't take care of them, you are saving the money for their burial. I don't know where we got the system where we value the dead more than the living. The fellow that your, your mom that was always eating a leather, one more, all true. She now dies, you go and buy a cow. Only if she can wake up and say, please don't kill the cow for me. Take care of them. Take care of your parents. Take care of your parents. Pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. This evening, um, our business is to pay, pray for our children. You're already married. You have children. Please pray. If you're not married yet, pray more. Pray more. I've been praying for my children long before I got married. Long before. Just pray. Sowing seed of prayer into the life of my children. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we all please rise? We are going to start with Thanksgiving. We are going to pray for 30 minutes for our children. We start with Thanksgiving. If you are already married, you have children, I want you to just appreciate God for your children. If you are not married yet, thank God for your future children. Because you will have children, no? Ah, you will have children. Ah. So lift up your two hands and just appreciate God. Say, Lord, thank you for all my children. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for great. Thank you for Enoch. Thank you for Daniel. Call them, call their names. Appreciate God. Thank God for all your children. Thank God for the future children. Appreciate Jehovah tonight. La barra da 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 da. Le kashwaga da gabrando suta. Ikate le barato suta. Imbra da 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 redesh. Lord, thank you. Ela ba da ba da ba da ba da ba desh. Le kasuka re abazuda li barade. Le kata li barada la badia. Ikata li barada da 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 da. Lord, thank you for my children. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. First prayer, I want you to pray. Please, all this prayer we are praying, if they are serious prayers, let's pray very well for our children. Your first prayer, I'm going to pray. Now, Father, pray tonight that the life of my children will not be wasted. Listen, no, listen. Psalm 91, Psalm 91, verse 6. Psalm 91, verse 6. Put it on the screen. Psalm 91, verse 6. Psalm 91, verse 6. My children will not be wasted. Psalm 91, verse 6. He said, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that does what? Wasted at noonday. They will not be wasted in the prime of their life. Listen, listen. I had a story of a, of, of, of a woman. Hmm. I pray for all the mummies in the house. If your amen can be loud, you will not become barren in the evening of your life. You don't understand that prayer. I know one mama, when she has just one son, that's the only child she has. And when she was close to 70, that son died. That's the meaning of becoming, at that time she was already a widow. So that is what, and this is not menopause. It is menno overstop for years, almost 70, and the only son died. So she has become barren in the evening of her life. I pray for all the mummies in the house again. 
if your amen can be louder tonight, you will not become barren in the evening of your life. I had a strong woman. Her son went abroad many years ago. He went to study. It was those days that uh, people still travel by ship. And then on returning back, if I, if I remember the story, maybe it was Lagos, Lagos Port here. Excitement. Everybody was happy. They went to stand by the, 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 the brink of the sea. So the guy uh, got back. It was very excited. And um, just to jump out, I don't know whether it was a boat or ship, whatever, but by the seaside. He missed the step and sank into the sea. The mama was looking at the boy to cross. Boom! Like stone. And that was it. All they could bring out was a dead body. Lift up your right hand. I'd like you to pray. Pray for your children. Pray very, very well for them. Loud and clear. Say, Father, I pray for all my children. I pray for my future children. They will not be wasted. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. The life of my children will not be wasted. Somebody's not praying. Mandelebo Shakataliba. My children will not be wasted. I pray for great Enoch and Daniel. You will not be wasted. Liko Shakata Liparakate. Liparagaluande. Ikota Leparagadaya. Ikatele Baragalia. Ikatele My children will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Makate Kaparagalia. Ikatele Paragalia. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Because we are going for Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. Kalabo Suta, Inda Balabadia. Can I pray for all the daddies and mommies in the house? And if you are a child, you better say a louder amen to this. Anyone that wants to waste the life of your children, you are a child there. Anyone that wants to waste your life, if your amen can be louder, they shall be wasted. I said, they shall be wasted in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother and run into Egypt and be there till I bring you a word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy. There are people targeting the star of your children to destroy. I stand again to pray. That mommy, that daddy saying, amen. Any power targeting your children. If your amen can be loud, the fire of God will eliminate you. In case you don't believe that God defends children, let me show you verse 20. God defends children, no? God is interested in children. Verse 20 of the same Matthew chapter 2. God defends and fights for children. Matthew 22 verse 20. And the word of God came again, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother. This is seven verses after verse 13. This is verse 20. And go into the land of Israel. For they are. They are. Not he is. They are. Not he is. There are many people looking for the love of this. He said for they are dead. Which sought the young child's life. I pray everyone seeking the love of your children. If they refuse to repent, they will go for your children. Lift up your right hand and pray. Say, Father, and the power targeting the love of my children. If they refuse to repent, 
eliminate them by fire my brother pray if you are a child pray anyone targeting my life call your children by their names and the power Mandelebo, every satanic agent targeting the life of great Obaro, targeting the life of Enoch Obaro, targeting the life of Daniel Obaro. My father eliminated Ela Kota La Paragada Ika Kapa Rekete Shala Gada 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 Ika Tele Paragatea Iparagade and the power. My father eliminated them. In Jesus. Precious name we pray. Can I pray for you today? All the children here, your parents will not weep over you. All the parents here, you will not weep over any of your children. Judges 8 verse 18. Judges chapter 8 verse 18. I'm just bringing the scriptures as it's dropping in my spirit. Judges 8 verse 18. Then said he unto Zeba and Zamuna. Gideon was speaking to them. He said, what manner of men were they whom you killed at Tabor? And they answered, as thou art, so were they. Each one resembled the children of a king. They didn't kill people without star. They didn't kill ordinary children. He said, we look for children that resembled, that carried royal blood. Children that carried great destinies. Doctors to be, lawyers to be, MDs to be, presidents to be. He said, they are the ones that we targeted and killed. Lift up your right hand again and pray. We're going to pray. Every evil has stretched against my children. That hand was withered by fire tonight. Lift your voice again and say, Father. I thought your voice would be loud and say, My father, my father. And this satanic hand straight against my children. Let it wither by fire. Are you praying that prayer right now? Let it wither by fire. Makatala paragada, ikatali paragalia, e shakatele pare, ipale kaparaka tu shanda. Let it wither in the name of Jesus. Jesus precious name we are praying hallelujah hallelujah I hear God say I should pray for a mother here nobody will extend the glory of your children anyone that is a child here I pray for you from this altar by the instruction of God, by the unction of Jehovah. Every hand of manipulation that want to manipulate and exchange. Take away your gold and give you wood. Take away your silver and give you bronze. I pray every hand that want to manipulate your glory. If your amen can be loud, that hand will catch fire. Somebody said amen, that hand will catch fire. Somebody said, Amen. That hand will cut fire. You will manifest glory. Your children will manifest glory. Your seed will blossom in the name of Jesus.
Ezekiel 17 verse 8. When you have a seed and you want the seed to blossom, the first thing you need to do is to plant it. Ezekiel 17 verse 8. He said, it was planted in a good soil. <laughs> Your children will be planted in a good soil. Planted in a good soil. Planted. They see you coming. Ah, say that's the that's the mother of the chairman. <laughs> that, that's the father of our chairman. And then as a father, as a mother say, Oh, my son, my son is the chairman of that multinational. Your mouth is not shaking. Say, say my son, you'll be pointing fingers. Say, my son. Have you met my son? Have you met my son? Have you met my son? He's the chairman of that multinational. I saw. I pray for all the prayers in the house. Your children will make you proud. All the children in the house, young adults, everyone say never, you will make your parents proud. What your parents could not achieve, you will achieve much more. Some of you came from a poor family, I've told you. You came from a poor family, but be assured, a rich family will come out of you. You didn't come from a rich family, but get ready. Because you must blossom. Even though a rich family did not, you didn't come from a rich family, but a rich family will surely come from you. Ezekiel 17 verse 8 he said it is it, it was planted in a good soil by great waters so that it might bring forth branches and that it might bear fruit that it might be a goodly vine where you are planted matters. Oh. You imagine that you plant a seed on a, a, a clay soil. What happens to that seed? It dies. It doesn't germinate. But then it was planted on a good soil. Lift up your right hand. If you are a child, pray for yourself. Oh God, plant me in a good soil. If you are a parent, pray for your children. My children will be planted in a good soil. They will germinate and they will blossom. Lift your voice and pray, my father, let my children be planted in a good soil, in a good soil, in a good soil. Great, you will be planted in a good soil. Enoch, Daniel, you will be planted in a good soil. You will bring forth fruit. You will blossom. You will germinate in the name of Jesus. be planted in a very good soil. Yeah. In a good soil. Yeah. It be planted in a, and um, what makes it a good soil is that it brings forth fruit. What makes it a good soil is that it brings forth fruit. What is the essence of going to university when there will be no job? Good soil. Listen, you know, as children are struggling, there are some children that are still shining. 
Your child is not a shooting star, it's a shining star. You know the difference? A shooting star, boom, disappears. A shining star, come on. Come on. Come on. 2020 shining, 2021, 2022, 2025, 2030, 2040. The next thing I want you to pray is that when a seed is planted, there are some things they call weed. They are not seed, but they fight against the seed. They are weeds. Weed tries to work against the growth of a seed. Nobody plants weed. Go and find out. How do they grow? Anywhere they find seed, they start growing. Because the assignment is to choke the seed from growing. That's what I'm going to pray. Some friends in your life, children, they are weed. And what do we do to weeds normally? You don't have weeds around your house. What do you do? When, when, when you have a garden and you have flowers that are planted and you see weeds all around you, what do you do? That's why Jesus said in Matthew 15, 13, he said, every plant that my father did not plant, what will happen to them? Lift your voice, Lord, and say, Father! Every weed in the garden of my children uproot them by fire tonight. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Every weed, whether it is a friend, whether it is a habit, every weed in the life of my child that the Lord has not planted, I command it to be uprooted tonight. Somebody pray. It could be a friend. It could be a bad habit. It could be a bad character. My father any weed in the life of my seed my father let them be uprooted right now i uproot by fire in the name of jesus i thought that mommy will pray every weed Jesus' name, we are praying. Second Chronicles 26. I love the story of this very young boy. A young boy. I want us to use him to pray for like five minutes. We are, we are bringing our prayer to a close already. Like I told you, the time is so limited. So many things to pray that we can't, we can't pray about. Your seed the four letter word God gave me for a seed S W E D. we can't pray on it I only prophesy to you your seed is a star that's the S yes. and not just a star but a shining star yes. whether you say amen or not your children will shine brighter yes. if you are a seed here you better shout a louder amen you will shine brighter Destined to shine. To shine. To shine. The kind of money your parents have never made before. I remember one old woman, successful. She's in her 70s. So she keeps, she sits down. You know, anytime I visit her, I have to look for a way to just get out of the place because from one testimony to another, to another, to another, to another. Oh, my son is in London. Oh, he just got this job in this 
in this top-notch company. They are paying him so, so much dollar. They are doing this. He just bought a house here. He just flew to this place. He just went to that place. That is God's plan. That's God's expectation. That's God's expectation. Star shining. The E in the C is that your children will be enthroned. Your children are, your seed, they are royal material. They will be enthroned. The next E, they will carry excellent spirit. Excellent. One thousand people gather, your seed will stand out. Excellent. Excel in the midst of the crowd. And the D, distinguished. Just different. Say this child is just different. Different. Second Chronicles 26. We we use verse 1 to 5 to pray. And then we begin to close. Second Chronicles 26. We anoint, oh sorry, we need to anoint the children. So we'll do that very quickly. We anoint them. And then the children that are not here on Sunday, the prayers will bring them. We anoint those that are not here tonight. We anoint them on Sunday. And let's get all our children to church because I'm sure there will be, um, I don't know if it's jollof fries or snacks or I know they, they will enjoy themselves. They, they, there's a pack, there's a package for all children to celebrate them. Hallelujah. Amen. For every prayer and shouting amen, you only have cause to celebrate your children. Amen. Nobody will pay you a condolence visit on any of your children. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 1. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father. They are going to pray. King makers will locate my children. <laughs> Nobody makes himself. No man is self-made. He said, and they gathered to make him. King makers gathered to make him. David was in the bush. They came to make him. Lift up your right hand and let's pray. Loud and clear, say, Father. Father. The king makers my children need. Destiny help us, my children need. Connect them with my children. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Father, King makers, destiny help us. my very wealthy friend I have today we grew up together from a local school when she got to Unilag things became very tough our parents could not even pay our school fees but God raised the kingmaker one of the girls they bring to school in a private car just saw her and just took a liking for her that was the girl that saw her through school today that girl is a mortal she's God just raised a kingmaker. God just raised a helper. I pray anywhere your children are located, boarding school, boarding house, abroad in Nigeria, anywhere they find themselves, kingmakers will locate them. 
second prayer I want you to pray, which is very important. What did the Bible say? The Bible says, this boy, Uzziah, was 16 years old when they made him a king. Please pray, my children will make it early. How old was this boy? 16. When they made him. There's no crime in making it early. Even David said in that Psalm 90 verse 14, he said, satisfy us early with your mercy. Lift up your right hand, let's pray. Time is running very fast. Say, Father, let my children make it early. Lift your voice and cry to God. Let my children make it early in life. If you are a child, pray. Say, Father, let me make it early. will make it early. Let my children make it early. so much. The Bible says it was marvelously helped in verse 15. I pray for you. You are a child. You are a parent. Your children will be marvelously helped. But you know what? The Bible says his heart was lifted up. His heart was lifted up to his own destruction. And that's a very important prayer I want to pray. My children will not miss it. If you are in church on Sunday, you heard the story of KG Hamilton. He missed it at age 16. Lift up your hand. Let's pray. Let's pray for all our children. Say, Father, I pray for all my children. You will not miss it in life. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Say, my Father, I pray for my children. My children will not miss it. Precious name we are praying. Last prayer will be two in one. I pray for you today. The devil that could not conquer you, the devil that could not conquer you will not be able to conquer any of your children. Your boss prayed it very well. Oh, why yet you can you go to the money? Finally, I want you to pray. What stopped me will not stop my children. What delayed me in life will not delay my children. The battles I fought, my children will not fight the same battle. As you mentioned that, you are going to top it up by saying, my children will blossom. My children will be fruitful. What stop me will not stop them. Begin to declare and prophesy. My children will blossom, will prosper. What stop me will not stop my children. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. As we call the children to come, I will invite um, all the ministers to pick um, my wife, Story Dolasi, and um, um, Melanie, you can just pick the oil. We, we anoint all the children in the house tonight. So let's get the children to the altar while choir will be singing worship songs for us. The rest of us, let's just worship God. These children will bless them. We will not sorrow over any of them. In the name of Jesus. Spirit to spirit. Okay, those of us, children in the gallery, just wait there. Wait, those of you in the gallery, just wait in the gallery. We'll let um, the mummies will go to the gallery and attend to you. I will attend to those in the auditorium here while the mummies go to attend those in the gallery.
stretch your two hands towards this altar. I pray one more time from this altar. All the seeds of God here tonight. As you shout a louder amen, your parents will not weep over you. Your destiny will not be cut short. For all the parents here, you will not weep over any of your children. These seeds God has given you, they will blossom. Everywhere they go, they will succeed. In the name of Jesus. The fear of God that guides the love of a child. The fear of God that ordered the steps of a child. For all the parents saying, Amen, that fear of God will come upon your children. I pray for all the students in the house. Excellent spirit that will make you stand out in your academics. That will make you be the best among the rest. Receive it in the name of Jesus. As you make contact with other children, your life will not be contaminated. Thank you, precious Father. Let's wave our hands to God and just appreciate Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's bring out our offering. We are going to sing for two minutes and then we take our offering before we close. Hallelujah. We want to just appreciate God for our children. Hallelujah. Turning around. Turning around.
strength unto us towards this altar. I have a word for a child. I don't know the age, but God says, It looks as if you are stuck where you are. But God said, I will make a way for you. Yeah. It looks as if where you are, I don't know your age, where you are, things appear as if it's a dead end. But God said, I will make a way. Yeah. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you for keeping all our children to see another children's day. 2021. Lord, as parents in the house, in agreement with all the children in the house, we declare this one will not be your last children's day. Whether the children say amen or not, it will not be your last children's day. You will be alive. You will be well. You will prosper. You will blossom. You will be fruitful. You will be successful. God will enlarge your coast. You will be far, far greater than your parents. You will make it early in life. Your children will make it early in life. Your children will make it early in life. Over your children, you will not be ashamed. Over your children, you will not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, there will be celebration in your family. There will be celebration in love your children. God will make a way for your children in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. Sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives.